All right, guys, got the uh, EJ20 all done. The pistons, cylinders. Got a uh, rebuilt oil pump on there. New front seal. Uh, new crank sensor. It still has the knock sensor, temp sensor. That's temp sensor. O oil pressure sensor. Yeah, oil pressure because that temp sensor goes on the tube that it goes across. Cylinder one and three. Got the uh, those bolts in there. Torque down 37. Those are the bolts. Four on this side that uh, need the washers that have a uh, rubber seal on them. So there's four on this side and two. Those two that are in there. That one, that one, and then those two, that one, and that one. Don't need them, but those are short uh, case bolts. And then you got those two. So those are all torqued down 37 foot pounds. Um, all the other bolts. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. 20 foot pounds. This one down here is torqued with a wrench, but uh, yeah, just don't over tighten it. So I put a new rear main seal on it. It's got the uh, ultra gay, ultra gray, sorry, <laughs> uh, silicone on the uh, that baffle plate, uh, ultra gray on the, uh, those are the, uh, to access the piston wrist pins. So inside there, and then this is the baffle, and there's an Allen, uh, like recessed nut in there, just like that one, and that one. So those two, that plate right there and then under there is another one of those allens that are uh that's what gives you access to uh to get the wrist pins out but that's it that's it uh this thing's heavy now so that's like an earthquake All that green is the uh, the assembly lube. There's the rods at the ARP bolts. So I was talking about earlier is those will all be all those numbers once they're all laid out the way they're supposed to be. All those numbers will be on the bottom side of the engine. to see that one. So those are the, the prints. So that's it. 
I throw an oil pan on it, or the oil pan on it. I have a bunch of other parts for this engine. The only thing I don't have are uh, heads. Well, it's a long story what happened to the heads, but uh, they went into a machine shop to get machined when I was going to build it for my other Subaru. Um, and the company went out of business, and uh, they got to keep my heads. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of why I lost interest on building this. I had uh, JE pistons and scat rods for it um, like five, six years ago. I was going to build it. And uh, yeah, so the guy that was going to do valve job, some seven angle valve work, some porting. Um, he was going to match the ports, the intake, match everything. Um, yeah, and he uh, shut his doors. I went there, uh, went back to his shop probably like three weeks after I dropped him off to go check and see what was going on because I haven't heard from, hadn't heard from him. And uh, yeah, he uh, was gone. So yeah, so then I uh, bought another, bought my kid this Subaru um, from that one kid and decided to uh, just go with it, just build it. Even even you know my kid and I might not wanna want the Subaru, um, but either way, I'll either put it in or if he doesn't want it by the time he starts driving, I'll. Uh, I'll just sell it, sell this uh, block and everything before I put it in there, or if I do put it in there or not. So, anyways, so that's it. So, stay tuned. I didn't get to work on my Honda. I guess thought I was. So, it's all right. We got a five-day weekend coming up next weekend, so I'll tear into it. Then, all right. Thanks for watching.